All right, so it's now uh, August the 25th, and I just thought I'd do a quick run through of the um, kale and collard bed that was transplanted on um, July the 30th, I believe. They are a little further along than I would like. Um, there's a tendency for um, plants that are oversized to be um, uh, uh, and over fertilized to be uh, too fragile heading into um, the winter. You, I've no idea why this bed has taken off so quickly. The Isoterasis will try to tease apart the reasons but I Generally, I have no idea what's going on. Um, but what I will do is take the structure that's uh, over the nursery tables that has shade cloth on it and move it over to the bed and place it over the top of these kales and collards and then cover that with plastic even as heavy weather comes in. What that will do, for example, is protect the plants from heavy snow load, which will have a tendency to uh, break and snap uh, petioles, leaf stems of um, oversized plants. Um, it'll simply keep, keep the weight of the snow off and they'll be fine. It's not an approach that lends itself too well to growing sort of acres of brassicas in fields, but it's a classic example of how working at the home scale level affords um, folks such as ourselves more in a way of flexibility and fluidity and resilience when it comes to dealing with uh, the challenges of climate chaos. It's a topic I've spoken uh, to quite a lot in previous videos. So yeah, um, it, covering your brassicas uh, with protective covers doesn't so much work too well when you've got an acre or two of these things out in the fields, but when we're working at a small scale, uh, protecting crops tends to be much easier.